What's up everyone? Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you uh, the problem connecting to PostgreSQL uh, database from a remote client. So here my PostgreSQL database in a uh, Ubuntu 23.10 Mantic machine uh, operating system and my remote client is Windows 10 okay, which is on my virtual box. So I'll be actually creating a data source network in my OTA ODBC data source administrator uh, for mm -hmm. PostgreSQL and after that show you the problem we face and how to fix those problem. So let us just create the DSN. Before creating the DSN as I don't have any software here or the driver, driver installed, I have to install the driver. So for that I have some URL here, this is the path. So I'll be using PSQL ODBC 16. Let me show you the mm, website. If you go here, you can see we, we have a list of MSI for PSQL ODBC from 07 to 16. So I've already downloaded this. I will go to my downloads. Here I will go. In, this is the zip file. I'll extract it here. We'll go here so we have PSQL ODBC setup. Click on this, agree, install. After installing, let us again go to here, uh, just close it and reopen. Go to the driver section, and when we go down, we have see it is 16 the version is given here okay so we will go to the user dsn add go down i will not use the nc i will use the unicode 64 bit finish we have the data source name just keep it as it is if you can change it doesn't matter description keep the same my database is green db okay SSL allowed server let us go and check my host IP address this my this is my host I have config 192.168.29.127 192.168.29.127 port is 5432 this is always default username post GRE SQL password test this is the first problem we face okay when we will installing uh, uh, testing the connection this is the pro first problem you will face fail connection timeout connection timeout I will tell you most of the time connection timeout happens in two cases one case is you don't have a proper network connection second is firewall blockage so for that you have to add a firewall rule okay For that I will do sudo uf w allow 5432 on TCP protocol. Done. Update it. Now test again. Now see the messages change. Now the message is connection refused. Now it is able to reach IP address but it is not able to connect to the port okay so for that we have to do two things we have to go to the host machine and here we have something one is uh, this uh, post GRE SQL dot CONF here you have to add this line first let us go here open this uh, search it with listen yes see we have listen address this is commented so what we have to do we have to uncomment and we have to remove this local host and add a wildcard here okay first thing is done 
okay second is you have to open the pg underscore hba this one go here open this and you have to add this line at the end this is actually the ip address or ip address range you want to allow okay done now let us just start the service post here sql done now let us go to the client and test the connection connection successful okay save so we have the our dsn here postgres sql uh, okay we got this dsn so now let us go to the mysql workbench from here we will try to connect to the database okay so i'll show you the connection for this we have to go to database and go to migration wizard here we will click on start migration here i will select the database system we have postgres sql here okay odbc data source okay here if you go down you can see this in the list we have added this uh, uh, dsn on the odbc data uh, data source administrator so it is already in the drop down select this and test connection now it is connection successful so the connection is successful here so this is the first one okay the connecting through mysql workbench the second one is i will show you connecting to uh, oracle sql developer so here i al already have a connection i will just go to the property and test the connection uh, just remember one thing uh, in case of uh, oracle sql developer you don't need a dsn here okay because we already have a uh, i'll just show you uh, i'll share everything uh, on my description okay all the download link i have a uh, jar file postgres postgre sql 42.6.0 jar okay so this is actually doing the connection so dsn is not required here okay so just go here suppose uh, you are uh, connecting through java okay so here you can because this is a separate driver the driver which i have installed there okay the, the 16 this driver i have shown you okay so uh, this one P, this is a odbc driver and here i am using a jdbc driver if you like my video please like and share and also subscribe to my channel okay thank you